Hi, pardon me, but I'm going to read here for a while. First off, you know and I know there is no miracle cure. But you clicked on the image, so while I can't fully deliver the miracle cure, I will take my best shot. A moment ago, you were on the Secrets of Life homepage, looking at a picture up in the corner of the Miracle Cure, and you clicked on it, and now, here you are, listening to me, or reading this. So, since you know there is no Miracle Cure, I'm guessing you're curious. Maybe you wouldn't mind if you came across something that somehow or other was able to help you up your satisfaction with your life. So let's give it a try. But before I get started, I just want to say that throughout the site, I have quotes about the secrets of life and my video responses. I was just going to write a short little thing here about the miracle cure, and then, like I do throughout the rest of the site, respond to it. But I kept writing. So now I'm just going to read what I wrote, ad lib now and then, and hopefully convey to you my thoughts about what I can do, what we can do to help you uh, get your life to be where you would like it to be. So let's take a moment now, and I am going to have to scroll down here as we go. So let's take a moment now and really zoom in on what needs to happen so you can realistically help make your life better. Obviously, your answer to that is more important than mine. But I'm going to share my thoughts with you, and hopefully they'll help you. Value the quest. Enjoy the process of your focusing on making your life better. Yes, it's not going to be as grand and glorious as you would want. It'll be up, down. You won't have many, if any, miracle cures. But you will have steps. Some forward, some backward, many off to the side, some on tangents. It'll all be there. The good, the bad, the ugly. But it's your life, and you will be doing your best to make it as good as you can. Many of us believe that if we just did this and this, and accomplished that thing and that thing, and then this and this happened, then we'd have greater happiness. That could happen. But it won't take away the hurts, fears, disappointments, frustrations, and limitations that you will bump into throughout your life. Life is a journey, and like any journey, it's going to have its range of experiences. But don't buy into the belief that when this, then that. They call that in the therapy world a losing script. And when I get that new job, new home, new love, new thing, then I'll be satisfied, I'll be proud, I'm fulfilled, I'll be happy. Yeah, that happens, and yet it doesn't last very long and it's usually replaced by some other when-then. Now that I have the new thing, I want something else. There's no thing, no body, no anything outside of you that's going to make you fulfilled and happy. Yes, all that will help and give you mood bump-ups, but it won't take the, away the inherent pain of being alive. Some people think that if nothing external can truly make them happy, then they need to meditate more, do more yoga, practice graciousness, and otherwise be the very best version of themselves. That helps, and it makes you feel better about yourself, but it still does not excuse you from the elements of living. As I mentioned, throughout the site, there are many wise people weighing in on the secret of life, and I have short, short video responses, not like this one. There are long and short videos also about happiness. And I think if you watch them, you'll come away with some insight, techniques, ideas, and motivation to take some affirming actions. Yet, and here's the big thing, it all takes effort. You would need to devote time to the journey, energy to, maybe even money. You would need to prioritize your greater happiness and actually invest time and energy into your consciously pursuing a more rewarding life. 
The next thing, oh, the best thing about effort is you control it. You can crank it up, you can lower it down. It's not as easy as getting up and walking across the room to get something, but just like that, you're the one who's going to decide to do it or not, and when, and how. Once you're able to say your, to yourself that you want to learn more about what you can do to improve your life circumstances, you're on your way. But first you need to be aware of what you want. Then you need to accept that wherever you are, for better, for worse, you are where you are and you're going to move forward from that point. Saying your version of, I want to make my life better, ought to be something that you bring into your life daily, more and more. Just acknowledge that to yourself as often as you can. Trust that the more you acknowledge this to yourself, the more your effort will follow and it'll start moving you in the direction of improving your life. Will it be grand and glorious? Of course not. But it ought to be better. And, you know, better is better. Invest in you and you'll have a return on your investment. What kind of interest will you earn? Well, you get a variable rate. But any interest you earn is better than earning no interest, as we all can sort of attest now. So, if your life is going to get better, I'm both sorry and sad to say, you are going to have to do it. I'll help you if I can. The website will help you. Others will help you but you're the one who has to make the effort to make it better. We all live and learn along the way. I'm continually adding new secrets to the site as I discover other people's views on the secrets of life. And you feel free to join in and weigh in. I have a part here that says your thoughts. I welcome you adding your thoughts to what is are the secrets of life. And I think we may not be able to develop the miracle cure, but hopefully we can make our world and the greater world a better place. And good luck to us one and all. And thanks for listening to this from the beginning all the way right here to the end. Thanks. Bye.